And welcome to the conclusion. Where I'm gonna finally beat this game. Finally. The Rock has come back! No. <laughs> to lay the smack down. To Mr. Leahy the smack down? No. Uh oh. The drink down. And you're gonna get ready to fight one of the bosses of you choosing. Uh, again. At least you don't have to fight all the bosses over. Okay, yeah, I remember this one. Uh, this one was uh, pretty troublesome. Yeah, this is door number two. <laughs> What's behind door number two? What's the deal with fighting bosses again? What's the deal with Let's Make a Deal? I'm not going to bash this game for that. I mean, you do that in Mega Man. Which is frustrating because, you know, some Mega Man games are hard. you got to fight them bosses again. Especially if you don't have enough energy tanks or whatever. But, um... And... Oh, it's a, was that a jukebox? <laughs> yeah, and then you, for some reason you shoot the jukebox and it turns into Taro or Taro. Okay, there's finally Taro. And finally. you got to use four arts in a certain order. And if you hit the key of Taro or Taro, whatever, they have the similar names in order to walk. It wouldn't make sense in the storyline if they gave indication that was his son or something. But, uh, you know, at first you, you uh, use the fire rain. Oops, well, I hit Taro. Now that his energy goes back up. Uh. Ah, quit. Oh, all right, there we go. And I face another way, and uh, you can safely hit Toro with the fire ring next. And for no reason he's shooting far a kick cereal. Uh, yeah. Spitting kick cereal out of his mouth. There I hit him. Now he's bald. Yeah. It's a, what's up with all this, uh, these uh, Cheetos going around? And like uh, it looks like Mr. Burns now. Now use the art of the spider to get on the other side because he's facing the other way to where you can safely hit him and not the kid. And use two two missile shots. I guess you can still hit the... Okay, you're not hitting the kid. You're hitting his arm and then boom, that's it. Took him out. The building blows up, I guess. I don't know, but... uh. And here's the lame ending. Whoa, is that uh, John Travolta? <laughs> <laughs> it's Mr. Miyagi, John Travolta, and... I don't know who that other guy is. That's that kid you rescued, I, I assume. Uh -huh. And you still don't see Mr. Miyagi's face. I thought you did. My mistake. You see Lant Manta's face, though. Oh, so Ma the Manta is really John Travolta. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> and this is it. He just congratulates him and gets him the... I guess him a sash or, or the family sword. I don't know what he's giving him right there. Yeah, I thought he had, like, a gun pointed at him or something. <laughs> I don't know. And then that's it. That's the lame ending for a pretty much pretty lame game. Yes. <laughs> when I was a kid, I liked it, but um, eh, you know, not no more. I have to give this game a five out of ten. Very mediocre, but definitely not the worst game ever. Yeah, I, I'll I'll go with that five out of ten, and that's me being nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that, there you go. Thank you for watching this let's play of Wrath of Black Manta. Coming up next, what I'm doing next. Dirty Harry for the NES. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Alright. I'm Ron Moore for the J Man. See you guys later. Later.